Hello, I am John Kanalopoulos from Athens, Greece, director of the Laser Vision uh, Eye Institute in Athens and uh, clinical professor of ophthalmology at the NYU Medical School in New York City, New York. We have worked with the uh, Wavelight refractive products for over 15 years now, and uh, we have been working with the latest, uh, which is the refractive suite uh, by Alcon, the FS200 femtosecond laser, and the X500 eczema laser. We have been traditionally using a metal cone for our uh, patient interface procedures. This is the actual cone that becomes calibrated with each procedure besides being calibrated with the manufacturer um, and provides the uh, flaps which we have published before uh, of uh, excellence. Now for the last uh, six months we have worked with the uh, plastic cone which is very similar uh, device and we decided to do a comparison in order to establish the safety and efficacy of the plastic home. Uh, as you will see in this short video, which I hope you will enjoy, there's some uh, uh, adherent advantages to it um, and I hope you find this presentation interesting. Thank you. This is the clear cone that I showed you before, the exact same dimensions from molded uh, plastic. And now here on a uh, LASIK uh, case, we're uh, engaging the cone into the FS200 femtosecond laser in order to have it calibrated by the laser. Um, if this has been done now. And once the laser gives us the go-ahead, we pull the cone back out, uh, place the uh, suction ring here on the patient's eye, uh, attain low suction initially, um, uh, which is done uh, right at this moment, and we're seeing this in real time. And now we're engaging the pre-calibrated cone uh, here. The clear cone gives you the advantage that we can see the rest of the eye, uh, the uh, fixation ring. Uh, we're coming in to uh, applicate the cornea and now high suction comes in with the FS200 from the second laser. Um, and uh, we, we're fine tuning the flap parameters currently, myself and uh, my uh, technician. Uh, and once uh, they give me and I give them the go ahead, uh, I uh, press on the pedal in order to engage with the flap, which starts now. Uh, you can appreciate that uh, an intrinsic advantage with this uh, femtosecond laser is the continuous venting, uh, and it's about six seconds to complete a uh, LASIK flap, as you can see here, uh, an immaculate LASIK flap. Uh, let's uh, look on the flip side. This is the metal cone, uh, which uh, has been the standard up till now. A very similar procedure. We're using the fixation ring here. Um, to fixate on the patient's eye. Uh, this cone has been calibrated uh, prior to this, uh, engaging the cone, applanating. At this moment, we had high section. And um, once we uh, fine tune uh, the uh, last uh, uh, flap uh, settings, uh, its centration and, and the um, venting channel uh, settings, I will uh, press on the pedal as you can see here. Uh, there's continuum venting outside the chimney as we call it, the venting channel. And again, uh, this flap uh, is uh, completed um, within less than uh, seven seconds. Uh, no OBL, and this has been our experience, very low occurrence of OBL as we have uh, published previously. Uh, but basically in comparing the two modalities, as you will read in this paper, uh, we get immaculate flaps uh, plus minus three microns, uh, as you can see here on uh, corneal CT. Um, and as you read in the, the manuscript, we're looking at flap predictability between the clear cones and the metal cones, and the numbers are uh, uh, extremely high. Uh, I need to note um, here also flap thickness pred predictability. We're using our own uh, novel uh, way of measuring the flaps of, by digitizing the uh, uh, end picture from this device. So metal and, and uh, clear cones, excellent results. Thank you very much.